be very careful with this, don't pull too hard. You might have to use a plastic, like a scraper or something to actually pry it out carefully. stuck so I sprayed PB blaster in there and I'm gonna wait right now it has to soak in and then I'll try again to carefully uh, get it out uh, get it out of there so uh, yeah and then after that I'm gonna clean it all up lubricate it and do the same thing with this ball joint and then reinstall everything back okay guys I just removed this uh, uh, firewall pivot arm uh, and mount and and what I'm noticing is that it was actually made in 2004. Uh, so this is not original to the car, which is good. And it's actually in a pretty good shape. So I'm really happy about that. I'm gonna clean it all up nicely, lubricate everything and reinstall this bad boy back. So, yeah. Also, most of the vacuum hoses uh, were replaced. All these vacuum hoses everywhere, all these vacuum lines and hoses were replaced these ones are all fresh and I'll show you how the old ones look all the one the old uh, vacuum hoses were in a horrible shape so it's a really good idea to check on yours as well this is brand new as well all these ones okay and um, yeah I'll keep you updated okay, here's the pivot arm mount that I disassembled okay it's in a great shape just had to remove this uh, snap ring and then right this and I'm gonna clean this up and add new grease to this baby and reinstall it back. Ready to put back. So, while the oil filter housing is out, I used quarter inch drill bit and I actually uh, reamed um, the hole where the glow plug goes and there was some carbon build carbon buildup actually and I put some grease right here actually so to catch the uh, carbon buildup and um, you know it's not only before that when I went a couple of rounds in uh, there was a lot more carbon buildup on that fifth cylinder and the rest of them are actually the same way so we have to actually are uh, you know use use the drill bit and just ream out the rest of the glow plug holes um, and the reason why you want to do that is because um, uh, when you cycle your glow plugs uh, if there's a lot of carbon buildup it's not gonna actually um, you know dispose the heat properly or dissipate the heat i mean, I mean the, the, what i'm trying to say is that if there's a lot of carbon buildup right here around this uh you know uh porcelain right here basically the the pencil then um you know you're gonna cycle the glow plugs this is gonna heat up but it's not gonna really heat the cylinder that well because that's because the carbon buildup is there and it's blocking the heat from traveling into the cylinder so that's what's important to actually uh, remount the glow plugs um, 
and uh, another reason why is because uh, if there's a lot of carbon buildup and you keep just uh, you know you don't do anything about that then it's gonna actually cause uh, it can cause hopefully not but you know it's possible it can cause this thing to seize and then when you try to take it out it might break off but um, yeah it's a, just a good idea a good practice to do it every time uh, you remove the glow plugs and install new ones and you know this engine would have some issues starting when it's pretty cold kind of um, and you know my theory is probably because of that carbon buildup in there there's a lot of car carbon buildup so already they cleaned the cylinder f uh, five so and this is the new glow plug i'll be installing in there before installation i'll put copper paste on the threads here um and i'm not gonna really put anything on this part just on the threads mainly and this portion uh, just so it doesn't seize in the future or anything like that so it will be good to go Go ahead and install it. A homemade glow plug reamer. It works amazing. Picking up a bunch of carbon buildup from the glow plug holes. And uh, yeah, it was pretty simple. I just used a quarter inch drill bit. I cut it in half. And then I'm, I have this six millimeter uh, socket and uh, uh, you know I just fit this drill bit in there and then I actually stuffed the rag but I'll have to figure something else out how to keep it in there pretty secure but as of right now it's very secure it's not going anywhere and it's picking up a bunch of carbon so and I'm ready to install new glow plugs as soon as I'm done with this uh, job um, of picking in the carbon buildup and uh, yeah, we'll be ready to go. And then um, I'm gonna try to start the engine really soon, see how she runs and everything. New glow plug going in. And after I install new glow plugs in here, uh, we should be done with the, most of this stuff and I'll probably start it up a little later.